turn with me to Genesis number 2. Genesis number 2. Verses 4 to 7. Genesis number 2. Verses 4 to 7. This is the history of the heavens and the earth when they were created. In the day that the Lord made the earth and the heavens. Before any plant of the field was in the earth. And before any herb of the field had grown. For the Lord had not caused it to rain on the earth. And there was no man to till the ground. Verse 6. But a mist went up from the face of the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. Father, we thank you. We pray that your word will inspire us to breathe life into our dreams. Thank you, Lord, for listening. To you be the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Do you know why your dreams or your ideas seem not to survive? Are you aware that most persons who have dreams or ideas go into them with zeal and after two weeks, they return back to status quo. In spite of the zeal with which they went into their various careers. The reason is because certain factors we are not considered or put in place for the dreams or the ideas to blossom. The story of creation shows us the three things are very necessary if we are to breathe life into our dreams. God had a dream. It was a dream to create a human being. And when God had that dream to create a human being, God started first with a structure. And when the structure was in place, God made sure that the systems were right. To coordinate effective functioning. Then God breathed into him. And the idea came into life. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. Breathe life into your dream. Touch another neighbor, say neighbor. Breathe life into your dream. Touch yourself and say to yourself. Breathe life into your dream. For life to come into your dream, you must start with a structure. In verse 7, the Lord God formed man of the dust of the earth. The term formed is the Hebrew word yosar, which means to squeeze into shape. To mold into a form as a potter. When God had that idea of man, God thought of a structure. And God began putting the structure in place. The structure was to give the human being a form. The structure was to give the human being a certain shape. The structure was to give the human being a certain size. The structure was to be the strength, the foundation. The structure was to be everything if that dream of having someone will walk. God did not jump. God started with a structure. A structure is the kernel. A structure is the skeleton. No flesh on it. The structure is the bone. Nothing to be desired about it. Imagine... If you came to church this morning and this we are me. Talking. <laughs> hey, hey. But without this structure. 
Because dream would have remained a dream. The reason our dreams have remained dreams is because we lack structures. Structure is what you put in place. It becomes a routine. The structure has to be strong enough to carry the weight of the dream. A structure gives you direction. A structure gives you strength. I want to be an engineer. What is the structure? I want to drive a Pathfinder Jeep this year. What's the structure you have in place? I want to make five credits in my OL exam. What is the structure that you have created? I want to build a house this year. What is the structure that you have created? I want to pray five hours every day this year. What's the structure? And the structure will be I have fashioned certain things and they are in place. I want to get married. What is the structure? Married. You are still like Jacob. You have not spoken to a girl. And you want to get married. What's the structure? Or you spoke to her. She has not consented yet. And to you, it didn't make shakara. What's the structure to help her understand what you are selling to her by way of marriage? That she has to believe that you are believable. That you can care for her and fend for her. Was the structure. Or you think that I just wear trousers. And I walk out go meet her. I say, I love you. <laughs> What's your structure? I want to make first class. What is the structure? First class, you're never found in the library. First class, you have no reading timetable. First class. What's the structure? I want my marriage to be beautiful this year. What is the structure? I want to have a better relationship with my husband or with my spouse this year. What is the structure? The structure may be every quarter we go out for a date night. Structure. Already scheduled every, every quarter. That means four times in a year. Structure. And so God constructed this structure because he knew that this structure had the capacity to fit into the system. And so when God had formed man from the dust of the earth, he breathed into his nostrils. Watch that. He breathed into his nostrils. The Hebrew word breath used in that point does not just mean wind of air. But the import is this. When God had created this structure, God knew something was important. He created what? The nostrils. Why did God not breathe on the head? Rather, God breathed through what? The nostrils. Why the nostrils? It has the capacity to take in air. Why the nostrils? It has the capacity to regulate the respiratory system. The nostrils is separated by a wall, the septum, and there are two holes, two holes, we call them nips, and these run deep down, having two channels of cavities, or what we may call air tanks, 
and they run deep down to the back of the head or the skull. And these have the capacity to affect the brain and the entire part of the body. So, with the nostrils, your taste is affected. Your breathing is affected. In fact, your immune system is determined just by what? The nostrils. So, God has shown us that there is an intricate system that has to work and coordinate together for the dream to come alive. That is why when the system is in place, it has to be covered. Because something else is here that becomes attractive to us. That must be covered from the eyes, must be covered from shame. The system is not what gives the human being the shape because of the mass of muscles then this becomes a lady, no longer a man. You may have a structure, but where there is no system, nothing will work. A system is when separate pieces and components work together to achieve a goal. What is the system you have? When the system is not in place, you can't function. That dream can come alive. For you to be able to come to church and worship well, various systems contribute to effective worship. I want to make money. Your goal this year is to make 10 million naira. What is the system? Have you decided to do an extra job? What's the extra job or extra business that will bring in extra cash? Do you have extra cash portfolios or investment portfolios that will bring in that required sum? Are you willing to sacrifice for it? What people often see sometimes is the manifestation. But not the means with which you get there. The system is the means that drive your dream to the point of manifestation. And the system may be, and notice that I am weak in this. I approach someone who can help show me up. That's where a mentor becomes important in the system of success. That is where an accountability partner becomes important in the system of success. A system. And just as an aside, a man wrote a proposal in Nigeria for you to build a three-bedroom flat. It's not as costly as people think. The man broke it down and said, all you need is about 3.2 million naira. Three-bedroom flats. And everything he gave, current market prices. You know, I was shocked. But the thing is this. Some of you don't know that. You consumed more than 3 million in 2019. Because what in mouth they chop, I know this year. You see, this suite of 20 naira. Biscuit of 200 naira. Mineral of 120. Or 150. Or those of you who like the Orobo. <laughs> By the time you are true in a year, have what? A system. A system may be that you have a piggy bank where you throw what you call change. <laughs> If you are disciplined enough, at the end of the year, you will be shocked when you break that piggy bank. What will come out of it? What's the system that you have? The structure and the system cannot work alone except something comes upon it. And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the earth. And breathed into his nostrils system. What did he breathe? The breath of life. And 
he became what? He became Samuel. <laughs> you notice that? He looks like the structure. But there is something different between him and the structure. This is a living spirit. Because this living spirit can speak. Beloved, structure and system is the thing that the spirit can act upon to bring your dream into manifestation. Where there is no structure and no system, there is nothing for the spirit to breathe upon. Give God something to breathe upon. When there is nothing in place, there is nothing for God to breathe into. And God has been waiting, saying, give me something to breathe into. And you are still there speaking in tongues. God is still saying, give me something to breathe into. And you are still praying, ah, baba, 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 baba. If God's breath becomes your breath, then what happens is this. Your dream begins to walk. Because your dream now comes alive. Your dream can now smile. Because something could hold it. Something could walk together. To help this dream to come alive. If you don't have a structure. If you don't have a system. God is still waiting on you. Because he won't build them for you. God de depends on you. To give him something to activate. And he wants to pour out. The nefesh. The breath. So that life. Kai can be activated and come. You are the one holding your dream. Not God. He is waiting to breathe if you will allow him. Let us pray. I want you to talk to him. Give him a structure. Give him a structure. And we are going to ask him to just breathe his name upon us. But in doing that, I want you to give something to him for him to breathe upon. And if you have it, I will want you to give it to him. If something is defective in your structure, say, Lord, Help me restructure. Correct the system that is not working. But just breathe. Breathe your name upon me. You may decide to kneel. Father to child. You may decide to be at the mercy seat. Spirit Whatever you feel. I'm lighted by your word. Yes, Lord. So Lord, I bring and this to you. The of I just want you to breathe. That all come alive. That's so how I change my world. Masika lelo bo shada hantaya. Kele mo sataba. Father to child. From your spirit to my spirit. I'm lighted by your word. Kaliya le seka multa. And with the breath of life, <laughs> that's how I come alive. Yes, Lord. That's, that's how, how I change, change my world. Hey, hey, hey. Ha. Just breathe, breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Hey, hey, hey. Your hair will hey, your name. 
Just breathe your name give some, upon me. Give something to God to breathe on. To breathe into. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. <laughs> Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Your head will raise your name. Breathe, Lord. Hey! Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Father to child. Father to child. Spirit to spirit. Lighted by the world. Halika bo shande likera. And with the breath of life. That's how I come alive. That's how I change my world. That's how I change my world. Say, Father to joy. Father to joy. Mm. Spirit to spirit. Lighted by your word. Oh God. And with your breath of life. That's how I come alive. That's how I come alive. That's how I change my world. That's how I change my world. <laughs> Somebody say, Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Kaila Mosa. Just breathe your name. Just breathe your name upon me. Lift your hands and say, Breathe. Your name is your name. Breathe. Your name is your name. Breathe. Just breathe your name. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Lift your hands like a phone and say, breathe. Just breathe your name upon Someone. me, breathe. Just breathe your name. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Say, so let the world. Just breathe your name. Just breathe your name. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Just breathe Engrede mosca la brone heda Shanta la babara kuria basa Shia soli baboria In the beginning Andoli ya leke Masura bayate In the presence of God Ando skate le brene Shanta kazada Ando buka pati ya dori baba Mali ya dori ya leke marabaza Shaka la bosa For there's a spirit in man, breathe. and the breath of the Almighty, breathe it, understand it. Breathe. You're the one, your name, your name is your name, breathe, Lord. Just breathe your name, just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Come on. When you breathe your breath upon me, breathe. Everything that comes back to life Breathe. And I move from glory to glory Breathe. Hey, the other one Your name, your name is your name Breathe, Lord Just breathe your name Just breathe your name upon me Breathe Just like in the beginning Breathe Where I was before you found me Breathe Place of death and time. Breathe. You're the one. Your name, your name is your name. Breathe, Lord. Just breathe your name. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Show God your structure now. Show God your structure. The structure to achieve that dream life. Show God your structure. Show God the systems you have put in place. I say, Lord, breathe into them. Let my dream come alive. Breathe your name 
upon me. Lift that structure and system now. Let the breath of the Almighty come into it now in the name of Jesus. I command it to live in the name of Jesus. Wherever the, the, the structure is broken or defective, I command it healed and restructured in the name of Jesus. Wherever the system is broken, faulty, and not well coordinated, we command it recreated in the name of Jesus. Amen. This day, let your structure and your system receive life Amen. for your dream to come alive. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Blessed be your mighty name. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give the Lord a clap offering. Thank you for watching Living Oracle. To order for messages and books by Reverend Dr. Chika Osa Uba, please contact Covenant Life Baptist Church, 15 Lucky Avon Seafe Street, opposite UBT Headgate, BDPA, Uba, Albany City. Or call 080 0821-8172-3625. Again, 080-275-406-23. 081-8172-3625. Remember, with Jesus, excellence can be your brand.